everything else stays the same. The curriculum in the classroom, which is mandated by the state and regulated by what we teach, and also uh, the in-car curriculum, everything else remains the same. We still teach parallel parking. It's still part of the training objectives, a list of training objectives that, that we teach as a certified school. And everything on the test is the same, except for the fact that they will not have to parallel park anymore. The parallel parking piece, they give you, it's a timed part, it was a timed part of the test. You had three minutes in order to parallel park your vehicle according to test guidelines and the test, the test limits. Uh, it manages more than just if you can park a car. It's space management, it's uh, hand positioning, it's what you view, blinker use, all that is all contained there. So I agree with you. It's an important skill to know as just a driver, but the test, that part of the test measured more than just if the student can park the car. It's how they handle the vehicle in a tight situation like that. My own opinion is I think it should have been, it should have been, it should remain. I think it's a valuable part. I understand from what I've heard and nothing official that sure, it, I don't know if it's going to save that much time because you have three minutes. So they're going to essentially limit three to four minutes out of every test that they administer because you don't have to parallel park anymore. So the X number of tests that you have in a day, what do you do, 25, 30 tests at a facility, maybe more, three times, three minutes. You're not saving that much time. But I, I did hear, and I did hear from, from uh, MDA personnel, not in an official channel, that yeah, there's, there's a high failure rate. And so the, the, the uh, effort was, is let, let's, let's, let's remove it so people can pass the test. I think test times were, is, is an issue as well.